Hey everyone, welcome to the Fundamentals of Architecture Design. My name is Tyler Edlin and I'll be the instructor for this course. This is going to be a project-based course where each week the students will be given an assignment based from a visual uh, development perspective on the entertainment industry. Each week focuses on using different architectural styles and building mini projects from them that utilize a different design principle. This is going to be both a fun and challenging course as we explore the many aspects of visual development such as production sketches, interior and exterior shots, environmental storytelling, uh, to prop design and layout. So each week we'll be looking at both a different kind of culture and their architecture style, how it works, what are the key kind of forms and shapes, but we'll also be looking at uh, different elements of uh, visual development, uh, design, and so on and so forth, and those can tend to be like, you know, form language, shape language, silhouette designs, patterns, uh, value grouping, uh, prop design layouts, uh, texturing to referencing strategies. Alright, so in week one we'll start out fairly simple, exploring what is silhouette design and how we can use it to derive the most simplistic and, and basic forms, starting with what is the function or the purpose of the given structure. The architectural theme this week will be uh, ancient architecture, and we'll go all the way back to Egypt, Mesopotamia, and, and maybe even before that, and look at how some of the simplistic forms and, and how everything was built and constructed, to how even civilizations thrived. Technique-wise, we'll be looking at how we can turn our silhouettes and uh, take these designs and place them into scenes and construct different concepts uh, from them. And moving on to week two, this week we'll be covering a lot of interesting things. Uh, we'll be taking a closer look at form language, what, the sh what different shapes mean compared to each other, what kind of feelings they can evoke. After that will be our typical uh, architecture overview of, of, cl of the classical period, which make up uh, Rome and Greece. We'll be taking a look at the, the kind of key innovations that they used and what they brought to the uh, you know civilized world. And so in the second part of the demo, we'll be doing some comprehensive designing. That's one elaborate building, three different angles, three different level of zooms. And we get in there and figure out all the nitty gritty details. And so in week three, uh, Asian architecture and talking about how we can really incorporate value into our scenes and how we can take our drawings and push them to the next level and how that integrates into shot design. I'll cover how to turn these sketches into those full value concepts, how we can generate light and forms and how that they can cast shadows and the different types of shadows that they cast. We'll be starting you know, our architectural scenes with just two values and how that's a solid way to begin. And finally, we amp things up in week four, not only by adding texture, but color as well. We'll be talking about the three different types of ways we can texture our images and the approaches involved with those and how we can create new uh, and exciting forms or just give more believability to existing ones. Following this week's overview on medieval European architecture, we'll, be, uh, we'll begin the demonstration. We'll be talking about drawing out the different building sets and styles that reflect the social classes during the Dark Ages. Now these drawings will follow a typical design production workflow, mainly used in visual development today. We'll look at the techniques to complete everything from a single building to full completed scenes. Then there will be a homework assignment based off these principles and techniques. Alright, so the architectural theme for week 5 will be uh, India uh, architecture, which is actually an amalgamation of Islamic, Persian, and Mughal arch architecture. It's a combination of everything. And we'll be looking at the ideas, as well as in the entertainment industry, of coming up with new designs by combining different sets of existing or in non-related forms and functions. Technique-wise, we'll be looking at a general process that we can use to create an entire scene from a, a basic initial thumbnail all the way to a full finished product. This will really be an extension of what we covered the previous two weeks, either building up a scene with value, color, then either adding textures or refining the details by hand. What will come after that 
is a closer look at how we can call out and design very specific areas or props within our given scenes. It's an important part of the visual development process and something we will not overlook to help support our architectural designs. When this week is completed, you'll have a greater understanding of the development process, what goes into actual level design, and you'll be able to articulate your, your designs in a greater sense of detail. Alright, so week six is going to be awesome. We're going to cover a lot of things. We'll be talking first about how we can use questions to derive and channel our design at a very kind of specific objective or goal. And we break down the design ratios and how we can feasibly create new and original uh, fantasy based architecture based off existing architecture to create a very kind of cohesive and specific piece for whatever the job needs. The second part of the demo in this two-parter will be a completely different approach where we just paint an entire scene from scratch coming from a quick line drawing rough to a full-fledged color painting. Uh, we just kind of go through all the steps, the processes, my personal technique and workflow. Not that it's a be-all end-all, but it, it's going to be a lot of fun and we kind of create this whole little world and setting for the architecture we've kind of been building up to in this week and uh, it's kind of like a callback way back to week uh, two. So it's interesting to kind of see the progression of things and where we can push our idea. Week seven, I'm going to start by uh, introducing the concepts of 3D design. How we can use 3D as a tool to not only increase our design, but our efficiency, our workflows, and how they kind of play into the whole concept art role pipeline. Then we'll be starting scratch and designing some modern to contemporary architecture scenes. There's a lot to cover with regarding that. I do a whole t uh, lecture overview based off the various styles and then I get into some painting demos where we do some value comps to figure out a direction for this week's project. So with these we'll just be exploring the mood, the atmosphere, the, the architecture design itself, the form language, and basically the, the key kind of shapes that go with it. Then I'll be jumping into SketchUp and I'll be developing the scene that we just sketched through modular pieces. We'll be copying and pasting them, we'll be using strategies to utilize just as few components as possible, and then finally we'll be jumping into the final uh, overpainting with the scene, adding the characters, adding the atmosphere, and really just putting it all together. Welcome to week eight. Uh, this is going to be the futuristic slash uh, sci-fi block, and it's going to be a lot of fun. In the first segment, I'm going to demonstrate how we can create custom shapes and custom brushes, all the way down to modular pieces of art that we can use to build our projects. So later that week is when things really start to kick off and have fun. Uh, I demonstrate how to create four different form languages, four different shape languages, in different uh, types of futuristic or sci-fi architecture. And then I'm going to take those four different types of architecture in the next in the next chapter and demonstrate how to build kind of scenes and comps uh, out of that. And finally, I'm going to close by doing an intricate line uh, design drawing or a uh, piece of concept art. Here I really just demonstrate the importance of doing rough sketch and then refine and detail as you go, blocking out the simple and then my eight techniques to adding detail and clean line weight. So uh, enjoy. <laughs> 